there's something you can't figure out like you know chakkar kya hai boss is bande ka you know like that's usually what a lot of times got me interested in somebody chakkar kya hai ha chakkar kya hai i want to find out a little more uh, i don't want to lose the actor so sometimes i sacrifice the star listen shahid kapoor is dancing after so many years i was excited to see him dance I was like, ठीक है मैंने तो करा है मेरे को देखते हैं इसको अभी डांस करते हुए एंड आई हैड टू कीप द इल्यूजन अलाइव यू नो बिकॉज आई डांस एट ईयर्स बैक नो वे या आई हैव डांस इन द लास्ट सिक्स और सेवन फिल्म प्रीति एंड शायद ऑलवेज लवली टू सी यू ऑलवेज लवली टू सी यू टू एंड आई हैव टू टेल यू आई एम लाइक रियली एक्साइटेड टू सी तेरी बातों में ऐसा उलझा जिया Even if you're a good singer or a bad singer, doesn't matter. Just it's just easier when you sing it. Is yeah. that song right? It is the song. Tere baato mein aisa ulja diya. We dropped it yesterday, so now everybody knows why. <laughs> exactly. But listen, I I have to say it's just fun to see something that looks like fun, looks romantic, looks breezy. But I have to ask, when you guys locked this title, did nobody say like, "Yeah, thoda lamba nahi ho gaya," or how will people say it? Yeah I mean you know my earliest memory of this kind of a conversation because I have done films with all kinds of titles one word two words six Correct. words back in the day it was like back in the day, five words you know, like yeah. I remember when 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 uh, DDLJ had come out right dilwale duniya yeah. le jayenge right all the titles were like ghatak ghayal jeet like that was the vibe right and then this one long title came yeah. and I remember before the film came out everybody was discussing that bada lamba hai samajh nahi aa raha kya bol rahe hain But you know, when you want to make a love story, I feel that it's okay to have slightly longer titles. In fact, all the love stories that have come out last year also had slightly longish titles, and this just felt right for the film because you might some like I remember when I did Jab We Met, everybody was like, "What is this title?" Because mm-hmm. at that time there was no uh, kind of this whole thing of Hindi English. having a hindi and a english word in one title it was not a thing at that time at that were, time people were like jab we yeah, met jab what yeah jab we met what and jab aage <laughs> kya you know so what did fa- we meet because you know yeah. it seems odd because it's you have a habit of expecting something mm. and anything that's out of the regular feels a little odd but we just felt that at that time that film was a very like contemporary love story it felt like it felt like usme thoda english hai thoda hindi hai we wanted to put that message out but now when people talk about that film it's like a classic title that everybody talks about so to say uh so i just feel that as we come closer to the release of the film as now we've dropped the title track of the film which is teri baaton mein aisa uljha jiya as we have now shown that she is a robot and even though i know that i'm still stuck you know in her uh baatein so to yeah. say right Uh, so I feel that it'll kind of find itself as we get closer to the film, and I think once people see the film, it'll kind of completely sit with them. Yeah. But in the beginning, we definitely got a lot of like, "This is a long title." We, we kind of got that, but we didn't want to drop the title song first because that's a music video. Yeah. We wanted the world of the film to be experienced first, so we were kind of prepared that this will happen for a bit. But sometimes it's great to have a conversation about a title that in itself. is a conversation gets your attention yeah. right so yes. yeah also yeah. i feel like so many love stories like he said like mm-hmm. dilwale dulhaniya le jayenge mm-hmm. hum aapke hain kaun uh, even now like yes, rocky aur rani ki prem kahani like i feel like we they're long, long yeah they're all long yeah. and at, at the end of it it's the film and i i feel like also in the beginning when we were just sh- starting the shoot um this song was always there as a as a feeling you know the ting 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 it was just there that as a feeling that was a quirk of, of the, the film, film actually <laughs> yeah, in it's, fact it's, dinu yeah it's the quirky yeah I, i remember dinu like this is my first film with madak she's the veteran um <laughs> yeah i said it is a lot seven seven you've called me seven yeah it's just yeah, 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 seven you know seven, everybody yeah. like uh, you know she's the queen when she enters the building you know it's like kriti ma'am aage kriti ma'am kriti ma'am not at all <laughs> and you you're just like acha i'm the echo kriti ma'am aage kriti 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 aapka zyada khayal rakha ja raha hai ghar ki murgi kash no anyways getting to the point which is that you know when we when i heard this subject and you know the the first song when when we were talking about what's the vibe of the film and you know sometimes music gives you the vibe yeah. of the film right and you know dinu just played this he was like tang 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 he's like the first time this guy who's this robotics engineer called aryan is going to meet sifra you know which is the super intelligent female automa- robot, robot automation, automation. Yeah. 
this is the sound I want should play, you know. And we kind of loved it because it just felt right. Because mm. this is, it's meant to be quirky, it's meant to be romantic, but it's also meant to be fun. And we just felt like it felt right for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, you know, speaking of the world of the film, now, of course, internationally, we've seen this, right? From, I don't know, 1927, Metropolis uh, mm. had had a robot in it to her in which Joaquin Phoenix is falling in love with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a virtual software. assistant. Yeah, with software. Uh, and locally, we've seen, you know, you've seen Anthiran or you've seen this amazing Malayalam film, Android, Kunjapan, mm. uh, OK Computer, there was Bahu, Hamari, Rajni Khan. Yeah. Did any of that sort of become fodder for you guys uh, as you prep to kind of tackle this material? Because it is, for us, it is quite removed. Of course, and that's you know? what's good about it to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, some of the most defining films in my career have been love stories as far as people's memory is concerned. You know, they love those films. And I have not been able to do one for quite a while now because there is nothing new in the space. Yeah. You know, and when I heard this subject, see right now it's very like we're giving you just the cream. You know, like it's meant to be just uh, like frothy right now. You know, there is... Beyond the froth, there is some coffee down there. But we want you to discover that in the film, you know. Sure. We don't want to give it to you right now. So, uh, you know, I think the guys who wrote this film come from a background of tech. And they had all the right answers in place. Because as the film unfolded and as we finished the narration and while I was laughing and finding it extremely entertaining, I also had certain questions and they had all the answers that I wanted. And I felt within this genre, because I don't think you can make a film like this which is super serious. Because it just goes into another space. I think you can pull something like this off only when you're in a quirky space and you're not taking yourself that seriously. Like, I felt like, you know, like if I'm watching Friends and something like this was to happen, I'd kind of buy it because it would be entertaining. But if I'm watching some like serious documentary and we're making a really serious film, then it, it goes into a very different space because you can't do a love story like that, right? Yeah. So I just felt that the tone of the film was right and all the logics and the questions that we had felt right. The fact that we were dealing with AI and the fact that we are already in a relationship with whether you want to call it artificial intelligence or you want to call it tech or you want to call it algorithms, whatever you want to say. We're already in a relationship with them and yeah. we are choosing to give that, whether it's your phone or whether laptop, whatever you want to call it, or the internet, sometimes more time than the people we love a lot, you know. And so to me, this is almost like a slight leap of faith. Like this could happen in 10 years, 15 years back. There was no okay. Facebook, internet, no yeah. Google, no Wi-Fi. I mean, look at where we are today. So how is it that we can say for sure that this can't happen in the next 10 to 15 years? There is a probability. And if at that point in time, a human being can supplement tech for anything that they want in life, for another human being, what do we need to think about? Are we going there? Are we already kind of trapped? Uh, you know, how is it going to play yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, mm -hmm. and how will we separate the difference between something that is simulated and so real, but not real? Yeah. And how, how for certain people, because we're getting so habituated to getting exactly what is customized to us. I mean, 10 years back today, both, both of us have a certain car. Everything is there in that car. You can talk to that car also, right? We both have the, the GLS Maybach. You explored it way more than I have. Yeah, you can drive, talk to it. Yeah. You know, it can customize your seat <laughs> setting. It can customize the air conditioning. You can literally have a conversation with it as far as you say the mm. name of the car. It follows what you do. So we're already on our way there. You know, it's just a matter of time. So I felt like this was like a great kind of delving into something that isn't there yet, but you know what? This might just be coming. Can I be. just I enjoyed that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 You know, actually, for me, um, I feel like even though there are so many references, there was no exact reference mm -hmm. to what I was playing and what the film is like. I feel when we talk about her or you know um, other Hollywood films like that, it's it's actually been more in a serious genre. You know, her is a very intense yeah, it is. love story. You know, and and you you still buy it even though it's just a voice. You know, what is that voice? I mean, it's Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, it's her. But yeah. but you still buy it, right? Sure. You feel for it. Yeah. Um, you feel bad for her. Yeah. It's very moving. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like if that voice also had like a face and body and just was there, like what would happen? And and also a film like this, uh, using AI. And this robot that is a robot, but she's 
so close to being a human being that she ac actually asks the existential question which is that is it bad to be a robot right that's yeah. a that's a big question it's yeah. done in a very kind of simple Subtle scene manner. Yeah. very very simple and when we did it i didn't realize but that when that was the last shot of the trailer i was like man <laughs> that's deep yeah. how do you even like, answer that yeah, yeah you yeah. made it like as human beings you made it yeah and now you have a problem with it you know so what whose fault is it yeah. is it the robots so you know so it, i found that very cool i was like this is cool man but how did you find that right note because like you're saying there's so many levels right there's so many layers you're you're an actor playing a thing that's also acting at being something else yeah. yeah right so how did you find that what is the right tonality how much and it's also robotic is fine so that's exactly so i used to be asking this question like on every take sometimes um i think i found i i think a few things i obviously prepped and i thought this is how i would do it because this is something that is too human and i can't do this so i think i knew more things that i couldn't do than the things that i should do um so it was more like okay eliminate eliminate like that <laughs> and then when i was on set i used to always second guess and question the fact that is this getting too robotic cuz he has to be in love with me and he's not a dumb guy right he's an intelligent guy yeah. actually so, there was a big evolution that happened even in that i mean once you finish it mm -hmm. yeah so i feel like he has to be in love with me um you know this has to feel real if it's not feeling real if it's feeling extremely robotic why would he love her right you know so yeah. that plus the fact that she is a robot so there are a lot of things that she can't do which are too human so i had to constantly be like okay this is this too human or not you know here i think mujhse kuch ho gaya jo zyada human hai i need to kind of tone it down or this is getting a little too robotic you know so that like you said it's a very thin line yeah. it was a very fine balance um and also for for an actor it almost sometimes feels like you're tied down <laughs> because you can only do so much because yeah. you can't like you don't have impulsive reactions you don't have like you know peaks um it's it's more like this it's not like this um But i was there for that yeah yeah <laughs> and and when you have such a good actor in front of you who's giving you so much and you're like i don't i want to do a lot more but i'm not able to <laughs> uh it's tricky but i think that was also the fun and the challenging part of it to to i used to constantly say ki you you if you know that i'm a robot most of the people who are coming for the film kind of have seen the trailer yeah they know what it is yeah. you know so you already coming in knowing are Which you going to be convinced are you going to be convinced of what what you're seeing and like he said the writers who are also the directors have answered all the questions that you know we were perhaps asking in a simplistic manner yeah. so everybody sure. gets it right yeah. so there's a logic it. there's internal logic no, there is a it. lot of logic right. not just a logic but you have to simplify the logic sure we might get into it in a much deeper and a more technical way behind the scenes but films are not about that yeah, yeah. at least this one's definitely not about that so you have to say it in a way which is simple you know like it should just be understood in a simple way without getting technical about yeah. it so i think yeah. that we've managed to i think do in this film and still keep it entertaining and not make it like exactly. yaar you know exactly. kisi ko nahi bhi pata hai ki ai kya hai to usko bhi samajh mein aata hai entertaining Correct. in this film like Correct. those are the things that are entertaining in this film which you'll figure out especially the I mean, I don't know what because much. a film like this, a love story like this between a human, hum, human, human, and <laughs> human robot. and a robot, it, when it's put in a very typical classic Indian family, what happens? Yeah, you know, you know that in itself is like it's a fun. To me, yeah. to me fun. like when I was hearing this film, I was drawing a lot of parallels. Like one of the parallels for me was, what does a Indian typical Indian family expect from a woman? Maybe only a robot can fulfill it. Like even That's those right. kind of things were coming in my of head. Of course. What is a man and woman's expectations from each other? Do you actually end up liking something that just follows your instructions, for example, or uh, you know is just doing exactly what you ask? Do we not like people anymore who might have a different point of view? There was a time at which we were told that you know be in a room full of people who have different opinions because it'll it'll enrich you. You'll yeah. learn more. You know. not of a room full of people who just say yeah to you you exactly. know because a lot of that is also happening yeah and when you're talking about uh, her and her performance and her tonality there were so many levels at which we kind of discussed and worked towards where ai actually came into it in one of the later drafts because the more we so what happened first was that the guy was supposed to be slightly not so chilled out and cool and little like little little okay. geeky what geeky little like maybe not so sharp or so mm -hmm. to say and then we were like no but let's make it because then let's make it more accessible like we want people to feel like 
Aryan is you. Most right. boys should be able to think this is me. Not that oh this is that guy. I'm much smarter than him. That's why. Correct. We you know that's the easy sure. route to take. Yeah. The yeah. tougher route to take, but the more kind of relatable route is to say, bro, this could be you, and you ain't gonna figure. Yeah. You know, and that is the kind of leap of faith that you go in with, and therefore she has to be. Seen two minutes is only that much you can make out. There's that one laughter that we've thrown in, of course, which is the quirk, right? right. When when she laughs and she says, "Oh, joke," <laughs> right? You know, it's like right. she takes that second to understand. Okay, this is a joke. Yeah, and that's how I'm supposed right? to react. Right. So yeah. that's just that one <laughs> thing that we've thrown in there, and that's the last punch of the film. Right. To tell you that she is almost human because for a lot of the rest of the trailer <laughs> she feels normal. Absolutely. But when you see the entire film, right. there is more time to. show you what she can't do you know as opposed to show you what we, because that's the fun right we don't want to give it away yeah, in the trailer yeah, yeah. so all that is there at this point and as you see the film all those things questions will they were answered for me hmm. so i'm hoping that i think they will be answered for the audience because i asked a lot she asks a lot and once we brought ai we, once we made this guy smarter it became like we were taking her closer and closer and closer to the perfect simulation hmm. which is essentially what she is aur hamare sawal mila ke sab answer ho jata tha if you remember the <laughs> matrix the movie right, which did well right. and everybody loved it yeah. it was that you know how they used that uh, that thing that what, what is it called when you think something has happened like deja vu hmm. how they used deja vu as a as a glitch yeah. now i think one of my favorite things in that film yeah. that when the system glitches and we all feel deja vu right so that is the kind of closeness of perfection of simulation that something like her has and that is i think something that's not very far away i don't think it is you know because siri talks to you perfectly now and yeah. we like we're getting used to it more and more yeah. and more yeah. and it is unnerving it is very unnerving but let's talk about happier things okay <laughs> yeah. let's talk about the fact that you dean is said you're laughing right now <laughs> no you that, that is my laugh she stole it <laughs> Exactly. That's she right. Just, she just imitated yeah, actually, you. Actually, I should have dubbed your laugh. It would be even funnier. <laughs> like a dude's laugh. I laughter. think mine is funnier. Okay, fine. <laughs> I try. But but your producer Dinu said that I can guarantee you in the last ten years you haven't seen chemistry like this. Mm. Talking about the two of you, of course, <laughs> right? Now that's that's high praise, high pressure as well. Uh, no, he's seen the film. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he's seeing it. I guess he's it. feeling it. Let's he's see what everybody it. else feels. He's feeling it, but but okay. What is the challenge of creating chemistry between yeah, yeah. a human and a non-human? Right, like what, what are you doing to do that? I don't know how she did it. I mean, it was easy for me. It's two people usually, but but you know what I think works in this film. Like now that we're talking, I think it's that element of mystery. Hmm. You know, when you know somebody, but you feel there's something about them you don't know. I think that that was there. Like I like that was I think what you know you get curious about somebody because. There's something you can't figure out, like like chakkar kya hai boss is bande ka, you know? Like that's usually what a lot of times got me interested in somebody. Chakkar kya hai? Ah, chakkar kya hai? I want to find out a little more, you know? And I think that is there around Sifra. I think for Aryan, I would say. That's also there, but I I actually believe that chemistry just sometimes come. comes from two people just being there in the frame not even doing anything not even saying anything basically she's saying like we don't even do anything just but i genuinely he's not someone who i knew you know that's right i didn't well, know I him I, yeah. i barely knew him we had like just done some small talk on like a what functions that's and that's about it that's why we had spoken a lot it would have died i don't believe that though, i think so. but matlab next film mein nahi hogi matlab nahi hogi ab to aa gayi See now it's there. Now it's just hanging around. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But I feel there. like sometimes it's it's just that. It's I feel like it was always there. It's not something that we had to work on or or I sh- I, I had to be like no there has to be chemistry so I have to behave like this. No. Mm-hmm. It was just there somehow and I feel like yeah I, even I it's not like something I expected ki to hoga hi. You know and I was like hey you know we do look good together. So I think my first thought was that. And you don't have to I don't know. Like, there, there's obviously no class where they can teach you how to create chemistry. You know, right? See, after you have this film, you have seen it. Huh. I will sit down and break it down for you and tell you how and why. Also, from a yeah, from a logical was, point of view, no, from a class. It happened to be there you? for her and me. Huh. It happened to be there. Huh. And like sometimes, like she said, like if it's not there, you can't create it. You can't. Right? But if the so script no needs it, so there are no steps to creating chemistry. Yeah, because But if the know, script I needs it, it, then you're struggling because it's naturally not there. You're trying to build it, right? But with us, that was not. We it happened. But you know you got but to be there interested is a in we'll the other person. But I can't tell you now. Like I feel like you have to be interested in the other person. Right. If you're thinking about yourself, that chemistry is not going to come. If I'm actually interested in you, yeah. 
you know that translates into chemistry i feel so there is a way to create it it I can't be it's either like, it's there or not there it's right it's kind of like something that naturally happens hmm. i don't think it's something the word create i don't know i think you can it can be there and then maybe you can build on it or allow it to hang but i think it's difficult to create it it's like energy on you camera know? It's like i when feel you feed like off each other's otherwise energy. every competent actor would make a great pair with every other competent actor but that's not the case no, there it's are not. certain people yeah. who you just feel it's working and sometimes it just doesn't so i don't think you can really there's no like formula to it that's one of those magical things you know yeah. that x factor that um, sometimes it's there sometimes it's not yeah you know the the director of pretty woman said that i don't cast actors i cast chemistry how cool yeah because i'm looking at that's pretty cool yeah, that's you know cool. how how it works for two people um yesterday shayad i was speaking to rithik and he said to me that uh, i was actually in the middle of seeing that interview you met him yesterday i met him yesterday it was out today yeah oh, no wow. last night actually they yeah so i kind of saw it today and i saw 10 minutes of it and then i got to promotion so yeah. thank you for watching but but he said something that was very fascinating he said i would really soar as an actor if i didn't have the burden of being a star yeah i heard that now part. that's a conversation you and i have had for many years <laughs> this whole the binary of actor star yeah. is that something you still grapple with i can understand why he's saying it i get it um, is it certain things I that you can do or problem. not do what is i have it? the opposite problem i think uh, i don't want to lose the actor in me so sometimes i sacrifice the star i think i'm on the other side of the fence i have the opposite problem and i could totally understand what he was saying i was like yeah i know what he's saying i get it because sometimes it is like that you know it's also the nature of films that we do the choices that we make the graph that each one of us either chooses or it happens to us so to say so i think in that his his journey is very different and mine has been quite different you know um so i mean for me the journey is like if you see like a leonardo dicaprio for example or you see an amitabh bachchan or you see a dilip kumar you know uh, there are enough examples where there is definite stardom and there is some heavy acting chops yeah so i've grown up watching that and i aspire for that now how easy it is of course we're in india it's a different industry the audience is extremely different so that's the ongoing journey we'll figure it out but i won't let the actor in me go that's just not something i'm ready to do yeah i won't Well, there's a national award winning actor on board <laughs> and a star. <laughs> Tell us. Tell us what? Just this uh, no, I don't think I've ever thought like that. I mean, not till now at least. Uh I don't think I've ever thought that ye mujhe karna hai ya nahi karna hai because you know my image and all that or what how people perceive me or what they expect of me and all. So I think you know you've not seen the interview he said that sometimes you know you have to look good in certain films and that takes up a lot of I think he was saying uh, yeah he yeah. talked about that taking up a lot of no, time I, and you know just energy when he'd rather work on the inside yeah. but the idea was like how do you choose a film do you choose it as an actor do you choose that's it as exactly a star? what I was talking about so you don't have that I don't think I have ever thought like that that okay I should people expect me to do this or I am at this position in my life so I should do this it has to it has to excite you it has to feel like you want to be a part of this in whatever way is it it could be the script it could be your character it could be the people yeah you need to know why you're doing what you're doing but it i it's never been because because i'm a star or i'm this i can't do this you know it's not been you know, like that you know jack somehow. nicholson said this once he said that you know you need to be watchable people shouldn't be able to take their eye off you what is the reason for that is it how you look is it how you hold them with your gaze is it how you perform, the yeah. the interpretation that you have of a scene or a character is it your body language is it everything put together you know so that is really the big question but yeah. i think stardom comes when there might be 20 things happening but you're just looking at one thing and you know that's stardom because you're holding them you know and for me that's my definition of stardom that when i am in front of the camera when the camera is on like people should just want to understand what's going on there you know because that's what i got fascinated with when i was a kid i was just like what's going on with this guy like what's he doing man i don't have any idea what he's doing this is so cool yeah. and and it should be honest you know i think honesty always uh, i think honesty lands above everything else you know and the other thing i would definitely say is i run away from 
doing the same thing over and over again mm. because that is i think a trap i feel feel that it's a trap it's like you know like you have the sixth sense that tells you like no no like, so for me it's like that it's like no 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 that's why i'll get stuck yeah that's my feeling yeah. you know but everybody's journey is so different mm. and it was very interesting and i'm still to complete that interview i'm definitely going to but it's good to hear that you don't even begin with that you're just whatever response fact, to you that you know the way you look in all what he was talking about like i actually get excited if i'm looking <coughs> really away from me and not myself at all like it it's hard sometimes to kind of change your look to that extent um but like like for example when mimi happened as a star there were so many people who who did advise right. me that why are you becoming a mother at such a young age you know a role like this oh it's on surrogacy you must be so serious uh, don't do rt films right now so soon in your career you know uh, you're putting on 15 kilos it doesn't look good like you know how you going to like do other things in life you're a heroine you need to look like a heroine so it's not like i don't hear all this i do hear all this when you played the perfect robot bro <laughs> so you just handled all of it yeah but but I, for me what was exciting was the part and yeah. the film and the story and i was like you know in fact it's exciting i was so excited the day i was looking my plumpest you know i remember coincidentally it was the godbhar i seen and i was like oh my god i think this is my max you know and and i don't think i cared even for a second ki acha lag raha hai ya nahi acha lag raha hai whatever even when i was like roaming around getting papped and all for me it was not like i don't think i ever had that running you know through my mind ever yeah yeah okay one last question uh the dancing <laughs> because you're <laughs> dancing dancing up a storm in this one and it's so nice it's it just it's just especially that title song oh my god it just looks like so much fun how tough was that to do for both of you listen shahid kapoor is dancing after so many years i was excited to see him dance i was like ha theek hai maine to kar raha hai mere ko dekhte hai isko abhi dance karte hue and i had to keep the illusion alive you know cuz i had danced 8 <laughs> years back no That's, way yeah i have danced in the last 6 or 7 films i've done the last time i danced was probably in gandhi bath and sadi ka fall in r rajkumar and uh, yeah oh my I, god yeah, i haven't danced in any of my films after that no kabir didn't dance and kabhi should have danced <laughs> i don't know what he would have done so i'm saying that's the bigger question he karega kya that's right but i uh, like you know padmavat i didn't have any dancing and whatever couple of other films rangoon i didn't have any dancing so you know I, in the last few films that i have done i haven't farzi was obviously a show so i didn't yeah. dance in that yeah. jersey didn't have anything like that so i have actually dancing after 8 years was so it fun like, it wasn't No, I was like, I was like, wasn't. you know, people expect that it's been eight years. Listen, you know, you I'm doing like this after a while. Time. You know, like so. Of course, this pressure. You know, and of course, see, I was dancing when I was 15. Mm. You know, so I was with Shama Khan also. I have an expectation from myself because when you're a professional dancer, you know, you expect yourself to be at a certain caliber. But at that time, I was dancing eight hours a day every day, right? So you expect that from yourself. But when you haven't, it's like you know, you got to do it regularly. So I really was trying to like jam it all up in three days or four days of rehearsals, which was like I needed four years for that, right? He is so very, I very through, modest. I was feeling like that throughout. It looks damn you. good. And I witness. I'm telling you, as a kujh bhi nahi tha. Sometimes I would take a few takes, you know, and I'm used to like boom in out because I've done that like in my teens. That's what I did. Right? Yeah. That's the skill set I developed. That's what I did maximum work on. So I expect it to happen, and then you're like, "Maine aisa socha tha, but aisa ho kya nahi raha." Then <laughs> by the fourth, right. no, I'm serious. By the seventh or eighth rehearsal, the leg actually gets to the place you wanted to get to, the way you wanted to, and the speed with it, and the style with which. Before that, it's just like, "Bro, like why? Like just get there in time." Nahi hota hai, you know. So it's it, also it because you're work. a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that, and because you've done, just that. done too much of it. You yeah, know what I mean? So you, because so like, he is like better than anyone who's like, dancing. When you behind. don't know, yeah. you don't know. But once you know, that's right. then you know then you have to hit the mark <laughs> exactly yeah 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 well you do you look great so clearly we're not seeing any of this struggle yeah <laughs> was it hard for you to match him i mean definitely no, i I, i think sport. i was very he was nervous going, she was going i would for say it. like this is shot where i'm dancing and doing 20 things and you're just shaking your thumb ka and i'm looking at her very often i'm like मैं इतना सब कर रही हूँ ऐसे ऐसे कर रही है बट शी डिड इट सो वेल शी डिड नोट 
sometimes you can like when you're dancing you can like eat up your step and like blend it in and all and i was like he's too sharp i have to be sharp so but it was fun i think i was also excited yeah, to see him dance yeah the songs in this film are a lot of fun yeah. i actually really the music enjoyed was really good. all the songs yeah. that we so far put out yeah. and you know it was a lot of fun and just you know when you're back on a set you know during covid a lot of these big group things weren't happening yeah. and you know we read about things about dancers not having money and then people contribute all that you know so i just when i did this song and all the boys were there and the girls were there there was a certain energy on the set which is like okay we're doing something good so and this nice. will probably create more such opportunities and everybody wanted to give it their best for their own reasons and i think that just shows in the song yeah yeah Well, listen. Cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anna. Thank you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I want to talk about our initiative, FC Gold. FC Gold is Film Companion's recognition of excellence in storytelling. In this packed month of releases, our team of critics curated and nominated a whole bunch of films and artists. And here's who we chose for FC Gold 2024 in January: Siddharth Anuni for cinematography for the film Captain Miller. Madhu Neelakandan for cinematography for the film Malai Kotai Valiban. I really hope you catch these films in cinemas while you can and keep watching Film Companion for more such curated content.